What's going on, guys? Welcome back to a new episode of Born to be Nerd. We are watching uh, episode 19 of Attack on Titan, uh, season 4, um, episode 78 in the series, I believe. Um, so I'm going to hop into this pretty quickly because I just got off work. Um, I'm really tired. Uh, I'm going to do my best to have energy and uh, keep the energy going um i feel okay i feel fine um but i i want to talk about something real quick before we get into this reaction because um i experienced something today that gets on my nerves every time it happens i don't know for sure but so when i'm at work i i, I work at a bar um i'm a bartender and when i take my breaks I like to play on TikTok or Instagram or whatever. Usually TikTok because I can kill 10 minutes on TikTok and um, feel like I got a lot out of it. Uh, but it's just a way to like relax, kind of take my mind off of work and everything. And it's so annoying <laughs> that every time something big comes out, I like have to like – stay away from social media and everything um to to like refrain from spoilers i know that this is the world we live in and there's nothing that anyone can do to um stop spoilers from happening and like a lot of people are like you you know you just need to get over it but it's so annoying <laughs> i don't know so what happened was i was at work and I took my break and I was on TikTok playing around and I don't know what I saw. I don't know necessarily if what I saw was Attack on Titan, but I've been dwelling on it all night because it looked like something. It looked like something, right? And when I, I usually if I'm on TikTok and I see something anime related that doesn't look familiar, whether it be a scene from something that I am watching that uh, doesn't look familiar, like I haven't seen it yet, or just an anime that I haven't seen, I skip. Because if it's something that, I've, that like an, a show that I haven't even watched yet, I don't even want to know like a spoiler from something I haven't watched yet because I, I watch a lot of anime, so I might watch it eventually. So usually I just skip through. But the thing is, is that some of these TikToks or even like, you know, uh, YouTube thumbnails, YouTube videos, whatever. Some of these things come at you so quick that you don't even have a chance to react, right? Like people just post clips without any warning, without any type of like alert, uh, in the middle of something major happening. So I don't know. I saw this thing. I don't know what I saw, but I remember as soon as I, as soon as I swiped away, like as soon as it popped up, I swiped. And I was like, that looked like Attack on Titan. And if that's what I th think it is, like if that scene was what I thought was happening, I'm going to be really upset. <laughs> so I need to give let you guys know, just in case. Hopefully, I misinterpreted what I saw. Hopefully, it wasn't even Attack on Titan. It looked like Attack on Titan art. It could just be something from like Mappa Studios or something like that. Um, although Mappa Studios, like they're anime are vastly different from one to the other in terms of like art style so i don't know i don't know it didn't really look familiar as far as like if i like focus on the little details it like got burned into my mind the like the like half a second that i was there it got burned into my mind and i can't unsee it now now if it turns out not to be related to this episode then i'll probably forget about it by tomorrow but I just need to say that just in case we'll see what happens um it like dude is it, it like it's like an arrow to the heart man when that stuff happens but anyways i just want to say if you make tiktoks that show um or youtube videos or anything that showcase like special scenes or select scenes from shows that are airing um just put a warning or something like just do like just do like two second a two second warning saying like spoiler ahead or something like that just to get people a chance to leave you know to avoid it because 
I said it earlier. We were talking about it at work when it happened. And I said, honestly, some people may disagree or some people may think I'm being overdramatic, but I don't think I am. Spoiling people on things like this is a mild form of assault, in my opinion, because you're forcing something on people that they don't have a choice to avoid. You know what I mean? Like it's unless they stay up if unless I avoided social media completely just to like I don't know but it's it's really a really like violent thing in my opinion <laughs> at least whenever it happened to me happens to me I feel very violated so I don't know that's all I want to say okay um but yeah we're 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 gonna get into this um I am really late on my uploads um. I've been doing a lot of stuff lately. I've been doing a lot of stuff. So I work, um, I, I'm back to regular hours at the bar I work at. So I'm working a lot. Um, I'm also streaming a lot now. So uh, a lot of my time goes into that. Um, and then I'm also working on art stuff. So um, I have been trying to improve my artistic capabilities as far as drawing. Um, I got an iPad last year. Um, so that I could use Procreate and just get better at digital art um, because for many reasons. One, um, I want to design uh, 2D uh, models for like 2D live models for, for people that want to stream with 2D live models. I've been designing one for a friend that I will like um, kind of showcase my finished product whenever it's done. Um, and then I'm going to do mine for whenever I want to um, stream but I don't feel like being on camera or something it happens once in a while um, and then I want to maybe do like if I once I get better uh, maybe do commissions and stuff and do that as a side project because um, I need more ways to kind of make some income um, I also want to use like I want to get better at digital art so I can design better um, t-shirt graphics because I do want to do like a small um, t-shirt website kind of thing or merch website not just like born to be nerd stuff like this, but like anime related stuff, you know. Um, but yeah, so I've been doing a lot of that on my side work, side time, on my off time. So um, that's one. That, those are kind of reasons why these videos are going to be late. Like I, because it's not my priority to be a reaction channel anymore. Uh, this like putting out videos on a schedule isn't really my concern. Like. If I lose views and stuff because I'm posting these videos late, it's not gonna bother me because this isn't my focus anymore. Um, but for those of you who are sticking around and watching my videos and, and are enjoying the reactions nonetheless, uh, thank you for, for watching. Um, I, I am excited to keep to do this series till the end um, and I appreciate everyone who stuck around. Um, and yeah, I've been coming up with some things that I could do for the channel. So uh, once we get close to the end and I kind of flesh out my ideas more, I'll announce what's going on. But um, you should, you guys should be uh, seeing some gaming footage coming out soon um, within the next month or so. I'm trying to get some more footage from the games I've been playing. But I'm doing a uh, Halo, like a first time Halo playthrough because I've never played Halo before. We're on Halo 2 right now. So I've been co-op streaming with um, with my best friend, Beave, and um, we've been having a lot of fun. So I'll probably post a little collage video uh, coming soon, maybe, and then maybe some other stuff. Um, I might also put some clips in these Attack on Titan reaction videos to kind of give a little sample and promote the stream um, if I have something that I think would be fun to to put in here we'll, we'll see but um yeah so moving on we'll get to the react to the discussion real quick i don't have much to say honestly um i don't know what's going on with the fight um with aaron and zeke um i don't know what's going to happen i have no idea i'm just here for the ride at this point i will say that um i'm still worried about Levi but I don't know when we'll get a chance when we'll go back to his side of the story um, I am um, curious on what Aaron is doing still obviously 
So we'll hopefully get a, little, a few more answers this episode. I don't know. We have 23 minutes to figure something out. Um. So yeah, that's where we're at right now. I'm. I don't have anything to say. Like I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's gonna happen. It seems like anything is uh, possible at this point. So. I had some thoughts about things. Uh, but I can't really remember them now. Um, I might have already said them in the last episode, talking about like Aaron trying to reach, Aaron's trying to reach um, Zeke to activate his founder ability to do something. Right? We don't know exactly what his plan is. Some people think it's to um, euthanize all the Eldians. Some people think it's, or some people think he's uh, planning on starting the rumbling um they know things about the paths and whatever's happening behind the scenes and this weird time thing and all this more than any of us can realize so who knows who knows but um i guess we'll find out i'm ready i'm ready to get it going um we're just gonna kick this thing off and hope for the best uh yeah the, I saw the uh, thumbnail for this episode. I don't like what I saw. It didn't give me full good feelings. So let's find out. And play. You saw. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? It just. I just saw it. I'm going to lose my mind. I'm going to lose my mind. I just saw the audio thing. I just saw it. I just realized the audio is playing, like the episode audio is playing on top of my audio, like it did at the start of episode one. Which means that you're not going to be able to hear me saying anything from up to this point. I can't... I, I, so, what I'm going to do is, I'm cutting this whole thing, I'm going to put it uncut on Patreon. Um, you, you can go watch it there. Uh, it's going to be like, I'm not charging anything on Patreon anymore. So everything on there is free. So go watch it there. If you want to see it, um, it's, it, it, it's going to be there. It's, you're not going to be able to hear my commentary up until, I don't know, we're almost at the end of this episode. So I'm sorry. Like I, this is what happens when you try to try to record something after a, like a full shift. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say, but, uh, I'm sorry if you were looking forward to my commentary. Hopefully you can kind of make out what I'm saying. I'm not going to – I'm done with this. I'm done with this. Um, it's just – it's so stressful, and I can't keep uh, putting myself through the anxiety of, like, making technical errors and things like that. Like, there's so many buttons and there's so many settings for this that I have to switch from recording to stream. I have to do all these – have all these different devices all over the place. And the camera's in front of my stream lab, so I can never see the settings to know if something's happening unless I manage to see it from a different angle. So, again, if you want to go watch my reaction, you can watch the full version on Patreon for free, no charge. Um, honestly, I might do that for the whole series at this point because this is so stressful and I'm so tired of it. Um, but, yeah, let's get back to this reaction. I don't know what's happening. I'm losing my mind. I'm freaking out. Um... That was the spoiler that I saw on TikTok. So just so you know, that was a spoiler I saw on TikTok was the decapitation. And I didn't know what I saw, so I didn't know how to take it. I don't know what's happening. Let's just watch the rest of the show. This was almost too much. This was almost too much. I knew Aaron wasn't going to die. I, I knew it. Like... Like, it's just too soon. <laughs> it's episode three of the new, of the, like, part two. No, this is too soon. Um, but I did see, I thought, honestly, um, I saw the decapitation on TikTok. I thought it was Gabby. I'm not going to lie. I thought, so even up to the point where she fired the gun, for some reason I was thinking maybe, like, she was, or not to the point she fired the gun, when she was aiming, I thought maybe it was, um... Mikasa stopping it by like decapitating her or something. I don't know. But um, 
that's what I saw. It was like a split second. And I was like, that looked like Attack on Titan art. And I was like, medium length brown hair. I think that might have been Gabby. But, um, yeah. So, spoiled on that, kind of. Um, yeah. Uh, audio is all screwed up. Uh, I apologize. Um, when I put the video in my editor to play with it, I'll see how unaudible um, my dialogue is. Yeah. Um, look, I... I'm not good at, uh, like, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm not really good at double-checking things, to be honest. Um, I have so much on my mind. Like, I'm constantly juggling all these different thoughts about, like, I'm, I'm just, I just got off work, so I'm still, like, in kind of work mode, basically. Um, I was, like, focus on the spoiler and, like, doing my best to try not to let it bother me or let it like change my reaction. Um, I was also super excited to watch the episode. Like there's so many factors and it, this happens like every time, not necessarily like, it's not like this error happens every time, but every time I record or stream, like I'm just not good at double checking everything. Right. And I should, I need to get better at that. I don't know what I'm going to do. For now, I'm going to just do what I said. I'm going to... So, oftentimes, when channels get copyrighted, they just put a link to the reaction, right? I'm going to do the same thing uh, for this, for Patreon, because I'm not going to sit here. I'm not going to sit and spend days editing this episode with how brutal it's going to be with the audio issues. I, I'm, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to put a, a few cuts here and there um, to make it uh, like legal to upload, you know, because YouTube's restrictions are really heavy with when it comes to reactions because uh, view the the person doing re like recording or whatever isn't as liable for posting illegal content as YouTube is because YouTube like the way YouTube works is the people like the YouTube like controllers, uh, CEO and everything. I don't know. I don't know the terms, but they're liable because um, it's te like their platform or whatever. So that's why they put all these intense restrictions on. Um, and uh, it's um, so they yeah, they put all these restrictions. So dang, where was I going with this? thought process oh um but on uh other websites like uh, out in the like when when it comes to actual copyright uh if you're if you're reusing footage to to add commentary things like that then that's actually legal right um if you like if it if it's obvious that you've edited it so that it's easier to um for the viewer to understand and like it's it's edited material then it's fine so i'm just gonna do what i can on uh patreon um at this point i don't know if i'm gonna do it for the whole series or not we'll see i'm gonna post episode one tonight or um tomorrow i'm not sure uh i'm gonna do it after i end the recording but um yeah yeah, it's uh, it's, I'm I'm so tired, man. I'm so tired of, like, getting angry at myself for making mistakes, or getting stressed out with all the issues. This is kind of like th these are parts of what's led to me making the decision to end the reaction part of the series of the I mean of the channel. Um, it's just I I'm I have a lot of anxiety, <laughs> like I just I'm a very like stressed anxiety ridden like driven and what's the word i'm trying to say i just i have i have anxiety issues you know um and so sometimes i have to make choices to relieve some of that anxiety and this is one of them so hopefully you guys are okay with this change or whatever that i'm gonna do we'll see i don't know man <laughs> 
Oh, God. It just, like, uh, oh, man. Um, what do we say about the episode? Let's, let's talk about the episode at least a little bit. Um, is this a preview or after credit scene? Preview. Okay. Um, oh, man. <laughs> so, a lot happened. A lot happened. Too much happened. You know, I have to say, though, people can disagree with me if they want. And I, I'd love to hear your, your arguments. I feel like the pacing of this arc so far is a little strange. I'm not going to lie. Um, I don't understand what's happening with Aaron, right? They're doing this thing where they make us believe that Aaron has this grand plan. Like, uh, everything indicates that, like, Aaron has some kind of grand plan. And then all of a sudden, he's at the whim of everything around him. Like, I don't understand what's happening. It doesn't make sense. Like, why did he try to take control of the situation if he wasn't in control of anything? Like, why would he just abandon everybody and then leave to go to Maria alone and then not talk to anybody if he literally had no plan? <laughs> like, he didn't... He, he I don't I don't understand. I don't understand. Like he didn't know what this that realm was. He didn't know what he was capable of with the founder. I don't understand. Like oh, I, I don't get it. Why? He could have just talked to Armin and Mikasa and learned all these plans so that he, they could be like, Well, what do we know? What don't we know? Like, if you need to touch people with royal blood to learn more touch historia <laughs> like she's your friend you can make contact with her anytime you want that's what i that's the whole thing like we we knew historia does have royal blood right am i misremembering that i'm gonna continue my thought process as if historia does have the royal blood like zeke does i could be wrong it could be two different things I'm, no, I, I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to continue with this thought process. The whole time, I've had this idea that what we missed was we saw... The, so the last thing we saw with him and Historia, right, was whenever she gave everybody the, the medals and he touched her hand, he saw something, right? So this whole time, I, at least me personally, and maybe others as well, had, were under the impression that he was giving given a lot of information. He was like, maybe he talked to Ymir, you know, maybe like he made contact with the founder, or he was able to like access like so many memories. Because if if all it took was a split second of touching, uh, touching Zeke to like exist within like years in that other realm, then Aaron probably saw everything, you know. And so we had this idea that the reason Aaron had changed so much and the reason Aaron hadn't talked to anyone and the reason Aaron seemed to be the enemy was because he had some grand plan that no one else knew about be, be, because he had information like like a vast like network and library of information about the truth, right? And then these last three episodes... His, like he's been fighting and like loot like just getting his butt kicked and like barely hanging on barely like keeping people at bay when he fought the the warhammer titan and the jaw titan and like was kicking both of their butts uh last part you know like he he stole the art he's like he like yes he had like I, I get he had help right he had all the the scouts helping him in that in Mar maria uh, or um, in Mo Maria M Marley and Marley, jeez, um, he had he had scouts helping him. Marley, they weren't prepared for scouts. Like I get it, but still, like he fought the Warhammer Titan, which he had no information on. Um, he managed to like defeat, like pretty much 
like handled the the jaw titan pretty well um i don't know maybe maybe i'm maybe i'm wrong you know maybe like he did. He was able to do so much because the scouts were helping him. Mikasa like was able, was like slicing at the jaw titan while he was attacking and stuff. So I get it. But still, every time the warhammer like spiked him and stuff, he jumped out of his titan form. Right, like he did it there at the very end. Like the whole like freezing thing. Why didn't he do that? Early? I don't. Know. I don't understand. Like it feels. And then he's like shocked. But then he tried to stop rain, um, Zeke from shouting which and then that led nowhere and then he tried to do this thing with the founder titan and that led nowhere because uh zeke was holding stuff back i don't understand i really don't understand i don't know what's going on i don't know what's going on the question is now so we saw um we saw zeke when zeke was nearly dead um the founder rebuilt his body is like but aaron showed up with his body so it did aaron in the real world or in the in the situation that we're seeing has aaron like rebuilt his body now or something i don't know um uh i don't know we'll see um uh falco falco yeah falco ate Porco, <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember everyone's name. Uh, the Jaw Titan. Um, that was a wild scene. That was crazy. Uh, I didn't see that coming at all. That was a big surprise because not only like I didn't when when Zeke yelled for some reason I thought maybe it was gonna be a surprise that like Falco wasn't gonna turn or something you know. Um, so that was wild to see. Uh, Really, honestly, one of the saddest parts is Pixis turning Titan. That sucks. Um, he, I think he can he can turn them back, right? Like, uh, he has the ability. Um, this is the thing, though. <laughs> this is what I don't understand. Maybe we we still have so much more, right? We still have so much more. So who knows what's gonna happen? But Aaron has so many abilities. He has so many. He has a Founding Titan ability, which we know that he has a small ability to control Titans. We've seen it happen. He was able to to like sick a bunch of Titans on the uh, Smiling Titan. Um, and uh, he did the same thing to, to Raynor whenever they were um, uh, whenever they were fighting Raynor and Bertolt and, uh, and Ymir was helping them and everything. Um, so... He didn't use that at all. Obviously, there were no Titans around, so that makes sense. But, um, you know, he had the Warhammer Titan. He only used her spikes or the spikes of the Warhammer Titan. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm at a loss, honestly. But um, we still have a lot to go. I'm not, like, it's not like I'm disappointed, obviously. I'm not disappointed in anything. I'm just really confused. <laughs> I'm just really confused. I don't know what's going on. It's stressing me out. I'm also really annoyed with myself for making the, the mistake of having this audio playing. <laughs> it's so sad. <laughs> um, and I'm really upset about the spoiler that I saw earlier. So my emotions are a mess right now. My emotions are a mess. Um, but um yeah that's that's where we're at right now so um i think we're done for the night i don't really have anything else to say yeah um i enjoyed the episode it was crazy it was wild um i can't wait to watch reactions to it i'll probably spend the rest of the night watching reactions um and yeah thanks for watching I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me know what y'all want me to do because I don't know. I don't know. But we'll see you next time. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.